Oh, oh, fuck! fuck! Bringing you the chaos. I'm just gaming. I'm Goblin. And welcome to Nerd News. <laughs> yes. So, uh, Ben Affleck has been a little upset with how Warner Brothers has been handling the Batman movie. And I would be too if every fucking week someone was confirming the movie. It's coming out this week, guys. It's coming out. New trailer. New trailer. Batman is fighting the Joker. <laughs> Okay. So, they, whatever Ben Affleck says doesn't matter. Warner Brothers. Uh, so, so, yeah. so basically, um, on one oh interview God. that scared the shit out of Batman fans, uh, Ben Affleck alluded to the fact that if they keep pushing him, he'll just leave. <laughs> Dude, this guy was full, full on. He's it, like, hey. sent, it sent Jesus. like a collective shock for people who liked that Batman movie, yeah. the, who liked the Batman in the DC Cinematic Universe, that he can. He's an executive producer and a director and a writer. He could just fucking leave. Sure. And the thing is, Ben Affleck's at the point where his career is good enough. He could just leave. And sure. Yeah. Really yeah. Deal this is looking very well right now in movies, dude. It's been slight. This is like courtesy. I feel like doing this. But if I was Warner Brothers, I would back off. But yeah. essentially, he he didn't say it outright, but he alluded yeah, to it, yeah, and yeah, that was yeah. enough. And I think Warner and uh, in later interviews that he's done, uh, Warner Brothers has backed off. That's good. God. And he said. He said the movie is still a year and a half away. That's good. Well, I, I yeah, I would back oh, yeah, off definitely. Yeah. I mean, Jeez, like, you want to keep Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck is like the pinnacle. He's he's what people really love about Ben Affleck. Yeah, exactly. If they hated the movie, they loved the Batman. So, yeah. so basically, kind of so it has to go because he's yeah. the only host so right now. We haven't been hearing a lot from the guys playing Deathstroke. We haven't been hearing a lot from other directors and producers, and I would assume it's because Warner Brothers is like, guys, shut the fuck up, yeah. <laughs> guys, guys, everyone, shit. shut the fuck up, Ben Affleck. Is going to leave us. Yeah. Do not piss Mad him panic. off. Panic. Okay, so we've got new information on uh, the Green Lantern movie. Oh, it's been released from Warner Brothers. All right, All right. shoot it away. Um, apparently, Warner Brothers is actually now being way more keen on the Green Lantern. Thank mm -hmm. God. They probably which, got a lot of hate. Which um, a lot of people are saying could lead to them moving the Green Lantern movie up in the timeline. Okay. Coming sooner than 2020. That I yeah. definitely think needs to help. Sure. When yeah. you told fans yeah. that they were not getting Green Lantern for like a long time, yeah. Yeah. you yeah. hurt a lot of fans. People. Now, yeah. they've, um, they've released Jesus. a... The, um, uh, according to Warner Brothers, they said that they have... A, a, they haven't told us who it is, yeah. much, but they said they've had a writer and they have a director together. Ooh. But that's yeah. pretty much it. Did they ever uh, settle on which Green Lantern they're going to be doing? Uh, this is the next part of the news. Okay, okay. Hey, here we go. Hey, what up? Um, <laughs> as a part of the little pamphlet, pretty much they released oh. to DC fans, they will actually be focusing on Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart both. Thank God. Oh, I'm good with that. Yeah, both sure. of those are perfect. Yeah, cool. Just, I'm glad they didn't do Simon Bay's. To <laughs> quote... Yeah. He's got uh, nothing. I'm sorry, Spaniards. <laughs> He's yeah, right. To quote... Um, not yeah, to quote, sure. but to basically what I gathered when I was reading this stuff was that... Um, Hal Jordan would be teaching Jon Stewart. Oh, that totally works. That actually, and they, actually, and they would actually, and they would actually be going around planets doing the Green Lantern stuff, and mm. Hal would be showing him the ropes, pretty much. Oh, okay. Okay. Right? Oh. And that's they, they basically alluded to. They wanted to kind of be like work the more copish angle with it. Right. That they're into Galactic Police. Kind of oh, deal. Well, so they wanted to work that a bit more with it. That could work with cool. the two Earth Green yeah. Lanterns, definitely. definitely. I mean, like, yeah, I, at first I was kind of like, I'd rather have one Green Lantern, but True, if you're doing yeah, like a cop angle, like partners, yeah. Yeah. that could totally work. Like, that's, yeah, that's, like that. that's from what I've heard, that's what they're going for. Uh, it could change, but from what DC and Warner yeah. Brothers have released, uh, those will be the two Green Lanterns, uh, Hal Jordan and Jon Stewart, and they will be kind of a cop buddy kind yeah, of yeah. thing with aliens and shit like yeah, that. that so would actually be I, I feel like um, it could be kind of their jab at Nova Corps and at Guardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, that's true. Kind of like, yeah. It's like they're counter to Guardians of the Galaxy. And it yeah. could work very well. Exactly. Actually, I new need, worlds and shit. I need oh, yeah. to see who's playing Hal Jordan mm -hmm. and who's playing Jon yes. Stewart. Yeah. Because those two will make or break the movie. Yeah. Everyone yeah. else can be okay true. or whatever. Yeah. But, but Hal, they, they, since they you're focusing on the buddy, yeah. Since you focus on the buddy thing, the oh, yeah, buddy kind of cop thing, the two need to work off chemistry. each other. They need exactly. to be, they need to have good chemistry, yeah. and they need to be good actors that can do that. Yeah. Okay? Uh, you can't just get some random dude and some other random yeah, dude. That haven't met each other before. Yeah. Or actors. Yeah. Any yeah. actors that you guys would suggest? Uh, off the top of your head that comes to mind. I just know looks-wise. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Looks-wise. 
Like he got, yeah. I just thought of someone, but I'm like, he's already in the DC. So I was thinking like Will Smith as like uh, John Stewart, but no. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. He would be a good John Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Or John Stewart, sorry. And what would be interesting is if they ran into Martian Manhunter. Yeah, exactly. Martian. That would be Killer. fucking awesome. Oh Did yeah, no, it? there's yeah, I saw it. There's a team picture of Justice League. Did you see it? Fix it. Okay, it's 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 like an actual team picture, like them with Green Lantern. Though? Not Green no. Lantern. No. Uh, okay. It's oh, like the, the team with that yeah, team. I think. I think yeah. I've seen it's that. It's like yeah. yeah, it just came out a few days ago. It shows them in their full outfits. It, uh, it's supposed yeah. to be an actual movie picture. They're like getting off a ship or something. Uh, yeah. Apparently, uh, apparently that ship yeah. uh, news on. Oh. They actually were talking about that ship that they were using, right? Yeah. And apparently, um. Uh, from what I heard, uh, the ship is called the Fox, and it's made by, I think, oh. Lucius Fox. hey <laughs> Well, there you go! What up? Lucius Fox! Right? Right. And I would assume it's a military kind yeah. of uh, vehicle. Uh, and then you'll get a bunch of people saying, it's a helicarrier! Ah, no, there's people who are already going, it's a Star Wars ship! Fuck <laughs> off. Oh, it's like, God. because they're like, getting off the back of it, like a Darth Vader does. Oh, God. I'll show you the picture after. Um, so, speaking of Justice League News... Um, there are rumors about who could, who is possibly voicing Darkseid. Uh, Jeff Bridges is up to play Darkseid. I heard about that. I, I like that. His voice, um, yeah. Jeff Bridges is a great actor. I love him. Yeah. He's really good. Uh, some of his movie choices have been eh. Yeah. But he's, yeah. he's generally had a good performance, and his voice is good enough. And he's old. It, it worked. Yeah, it really worked. I think, he works, yeah. I think he works in the role. Still would prefer other actors, but... Jeff Bridges is not a bad choice. Definitely a good actor. By far. I, I'm... Uh, thank God. Yeah. Thank yeah. God. Could have been way. Yeah. Could have been fuck way now. fucking worse. Imagine if it was like a, just a young kid with a high pitch. Yeah. Oh, no. oh my God. Yeah. Kill me. Yeah. Alright. Alright. Yeah. So, um... Ares has been confirmed for yeah. Wonder Woman. Uh, not he a will be, uh, uh, according to some sources, he will be making an appearance. Not in a huge presence uh, or anything, okay. but... Yeah, yeah. yeah. He'll be manipulating people. And nice. I like that. And he's, kind he of in, he's kind of in the shadows. Yeah. He's not a direct so. villain in this movie, but he's there. Yeah. That's cool. A lot of people are saying that the general in, in the movie, you know, the general yep. they're focusing on, yeah. is uh, one of Darkseid's... Uh, Darkseid. Uh, <laughs> Ares is... Is Ares, Ares is, uh, servants and stuff. Uh, okay. and he was... And he came to Earth to start a war. Ares better look metal as fuck. He better look like Ares. Yes. Full armor, fuck. You better have the fucking shit. skirt, I swear. He better have the horn. Yeah. I swear to God. Sure. And the helmet. In, sure. Just injustice. Just do it. Yeah, just Jeez. do injustice. It's so simple. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go to Aquaman news. All right. What? Aquaman. Okay, so this is some possible casting. Again, rumored. Most of this shit is rumored, but it would be cool. Um, uh, There's been a possible casting said for Black Manta. Ooh. Black Manta. Denzel Washington is Black Manta. Yeah, I could see Denzel that. Washington is a pretty good. He's a really good actor. At first, you're like, what? But no, he has a lot of range. He's, he's a lot of range, and he's a really he's really good at action. Like you saw him exactly. in the Equalizer, exactly, and stuff like that. He's really good. And he he can play yeah. like a yeah. And he would add some legitimacy to the character. Sure. I think they that they they get an actor like Denzel Washington that really yeah. really work. All really right, yeah. he's really good at playing like act, like realistic, like actually, yeah, like a dad. Yeah, yeah. and he and yeah, Black Manta. Yeah, yeah. 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 I think it'd be cool. So, um, uh, so, of course, everyone's heard Prince Slay died. Um, <laughs> yeah, fuck uh, it. I'm just gonna go ahead and bluntly say that. Good but, uh, Disney has come out, uh, really? about what they're doing. <laughs> CG, baby! Ship blows up in the distance. Oh, no, Leah's on the Nope. <laughs> no, really? Uh, they're considering CGI. Oh, oh okay. shit. That'll be hard. I mean, yeah. They're good, uh, they're, they're, they're very good at it, but I don't know if they're... That. Well, actually, my biggest noticeable. thing, could, yeah. My noticeable. biggest thing is like even in like we'll, we'll see how how big a role Leia plays in the next Star Wars. Movie. Yeah, true. Uh, but in like the Force Awakens, she was pretty much barely in it. Sure, yeah. She's yeah. in it every now and again, but not like yeah, yeah. the full brunt of the story was Leia. Uh, I think they could get away with it. If yeah, they true. that's short. Sure. Yeah. It's gonna be expensive as shit. Well, the way I look at it is like Leia doesn't have that much to do. I would assume in this movie. Sure. I mean, like she's not battling with a lightsaber. Or she's well, probably just gonna be like being a general. Just, yeah, yeah. Go just full sitting on. there and go. Yeah, and so, orders so a little bit. They yeah. could definitely get away with it for CGI. Yes. And apparently, episode eight thirty. Finished most like yeah, filming with true. Sure. Yeah. So, um, so the Han Solo movie, oh. which is I'm gonna down. Be, Fuck you. Which I feel uh, oh. will either be garbage or okay. That's that's gold. why I go ugh because uh, it's gonna be gold. <laughs> you can't. So they've casted a new member. They've casted Woody Harrelson. Okay. In it, so Woody Harrelson is the guy from Zombieland. One Twinkies. Mm -hmm. Okay. Who's he playing? 
He is playing Han Solo's mentor, so the guy who taught Han Solo all that was about that smuggling and shit. Okay. I'd like to point out that this may be the first Han Solo movie where he's actually smuggling shit. Yeah. <laughs> doing Considering he's a smuggler. Doing what he's supposed yeah. to do. I'm okay with one. Leave it. Do he one. Just, he'll make like a trilogy. Yeah. Of, like, no. Han, Solo. Han Solo just like has like a, a like a fucking like <laughs> it's like a fucking thing of like a fucking moon dust. And he ships it over, <laughs> cuts it with a knife. <laughs> it's fresh! For me, where this movie breaks or makes it is the actor that's playing on solo. Either yeah, he does a really true. good job, or he's complete shit. You have the charisma of Harrison There's no Ford. middle ground for me. He's either got to yeah. convince me he's the young Han Solo, or he just doesn't do it. And the movie doesn't work. Harrison Ford has a weird charisma where it's like subtle, but it also is really like. Cheap. Have fun! Exactly. And this young actor has to capture that. Have I think fun. that's so hard. Like, I feel like they're just going to go overboard with the yeah. charisma. Like, hey, I also yeah. feel like yeah. you'll just be watching it and you'll just be like, oh, it's not. Yeah. 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 That's that's a, that's how I feel. I feel like that's not how I'm told. I'm done. I'm out. CGI. Fuck it. CGI. Yeah, just, just get yeah. the old one. <laughs> you know the next thing? Uh, this is a personal interest of mine, uh, but they're making a, a new horror movie called XX, right? And it's, uh, what they did was they took... um. Four female directors okay. Ooh, cool. and uh, four sorry four female horror directors, All right. and they'll be doing um, an anthology which is four stories in one movie. Oh, so you'll have four cool. you'll have four horror stories in one movie, directed and written by girls. It doesn't matter to me, but I would like to see that a lot of there's not a lot of uh, female horror directors. Yeah. I would like to see more exposure for these kind of people. Yeah. And I'll go see it out of general interest. But I always I thought that was a great idea. I love anthology movies that tell more than one yeah. story. And uh, it just sounds sounds all in all pretty good. Sure. I yeah. mean, horror movies have been fucking doing, killing it. Lately, yeah. So. You'll see in our top fucking... Okay. okay. In the realms of horrors again. In the realm, realms of horror again. <laughs> English. 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 It's our life. They are making another Chucky movie. Oh, fucking hell. Stop yeah, it. I heard about that. Please. Stop, stop. it. Yep, they're making You're it. done. Oh. You were done. How, there's You're like gone. five of them. You know what? You know what? Chucky's scene always haunts me. What? When what? they use the turkey based around that woman in the one, Chucky's son or whatever. It's oh, called. fucking hell. I remember? Yeah. 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 That was always where, that's when I was like, no, I'm done. So, uh, so remember how we were talking about Ghost in the Shell? It's yeah. Coming yeah. Out, yes. Live yeah, action. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, apparently, the studio is also releasing the actual movie, the animated movie, in theaters, Ooh. Oh. so that you don't have to see the piece of shit will be. Oh yeah, oh, okay. <laughs> the new so one. Anime. Okay. You oh. can see the anime That's cool, yeah. that they're trying to be like and failing. Yeah, I feel like it's, <laughs> that was great. Goblin is not at all mad about this. You know who's all. you know who's directing the Ghost in a Shell live action movie? The same guy who made. Snow White and the Huntsman. Oh, I thought you were going to say the same guy who did Avatar. I'm no. going to be like, yeah! Oh, no. <laughs> Snow White and the Huntsman. He's Jesus. bad. Th that was a fucking... horrible movie too, though. You know what's sad? Is that's his only movie he's directed. Oh, Snow White and the Huntsman. So, yeah. And now he's moving on to adapting a 30-year-old anime that's a total classic in anime circles, inspired The Matrix, inspired so many sci-fi stuff, was like the focal point for a lot of sci-fi. <laughs> and I'm going to fuck it up hard. <laughs> And they're like, maybe he's like, has a passion for it. He's really interested. He's really... <laughs> <laughs> uh, any fans of the live action Mario Brothers? Oh, fuck. Off. Yeah, those what? fans have, are quiet. Please. They, they won't admit it openly. It's like they're guilty. But they're there. Oh, yeah. But they're there. They're there. They're there. Oh, yeah. It's getting a release on Blu ray. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, so, be yeah. prepared for a review. I, that's going in my Blu-ray collection. It'll be our first retro movie review for our oh, series. Lord, Just this seen. shitty fucking <laughs> piece of shit movie. The best smart. Listen. Oh, guys, picture of Bowser right here. <laughs> oh, listen, God. guys, listen, 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 okay? The Mushroom Kingdom is... <laughs> Oh, shut up. <laughs> the Mushroom Kingdom is made from actual Last of Us fungus. Oh, okay? God. And Bowser is a dinosaur that lives underground in a society of dinosaurs. Yes. He's a human with little fungus. Yes, he <laughs> does, yes! The mushrooms are from Last of Us, and it's Ice Age 3 on the bottom. Jesus. Gremlins 3, uh, coming up, maybe only one. Uh, same director, I'm pretty right. sure. I and guess. they'll be using the practical effects. Okay. All right, well that sounds right. a lot better. At least yeah, not a new sure. director. At least they're using practical. They're I keeping mean, it. The same. Yeah, and it's a trilogy, so okay. And it's been planned for fucking ever. There. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, next. Uh, for all you fans of Deadpool. 
He could be in Logan, is what I'm hearing. Oh. You know what? I'm okay with him being yeah, in Logan. I, uh, Maybe a small I'm pretty sure he cameo. would. I'm, I'm pretty sure he would survive the purge of mutants. True. Yeah. If he, yeah, it'd be cool to like see. Like, if him. there's anyone who would yeah. survive. It'd be, that. I'm okay with it because they already established the X Men and Deadpool in the same universe. True. In the first movie, so it works as long as they don't see, ruin Deadpool. Better. Sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. It'd be cool. Like, I know Deadpool fans will hate me, but it'd be cool to see like a different kind of Deadpool. Like, he's still funny and shit, but he's like literally, he's like, okay, I've seen <coughs> shit went down. You know, like. It'd just be yeah. odd to see just crazy, yeah. like, Well, they can, always, they can always do that. I mean, like, yeah. it is, like, what, it's 67 then, yeah, years exactly. in the future. And That'd be cool. Yeah, this isn't a far future, so they could definitely do that, yeah. something like that. Just give him a fucking mouth and his swords! Yeah. Actually, I think they should, uh, cover his mouth <laughs> from fucking Baraka. and make him shoot. <laughs> and turn him into <laughs> fucking Baraka! And, turn him into Baraka. And, and, you know, you give his eyes lasers? Because <laughs> that was smart. Speaking, sure. uh, speaking of, um... Uh, I have heard some rumors, there's also rumors that Hugh Jackman may be considering going back to Navy. Thank God. Please yeah, just at least stay. come back for like just, one dead pool. Just, 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 just don't stay. Know. Just don't leave us! Yeah. Don't leave us! Take a break, okay, come you're back. You're the only Marvel movies that make sense! So this is, um, this... Guy, you got us. So this is, uh... This is a personal pa passion project of, of me and Alcatraz. Okay. Um, we've been following very vigilantly... The rise of the monster truck movie. Oh, oh yes. God. Oh. Um, and it appears that the the greatness of monster trucks uh, is surprising. Just, yeah, you know the the studio has already taken their loss on it. <laughs> <laughs> they're legit. According uh, according to the studio, uh, they're done with monster trucks. They've 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 basically seen it and they've said this is trash. <laughs> the studio. Who produced it? Oh my god! So why are we going to? So shh. So <laughs> so uh, they pulled a lot of funding from it, and we probably will be seeing a lot of ads of Monster Truck. <laughs> I sure? haven't even seen an ad. I'm on. They're all over YouTube. Really? <laughs> yeah, okay. they were on YouTube. Yeah. So, um, so they pulled a lot of shit from it. I'm pretty sure their advertising is done. They're what done promoting it. They've apparent. They've just actually rolled over and accepted their loss, their financial loss, <laughs> and they've moved on to other products. So that means we don't have to go to it, right? No. Yeah, I love it. Listen, yeah. listen, now it's an underdog. Blue, you know. Now it's it's gonna be like a cult classic. That's great. That's great. It's gonna be oh, up there. It's gonna be in the bin of this $2 guys. This was the movies. day movies died. Listen, you don't understand the fucking level of <laughs> the listen, fucking plot. Of listen, the fucking yes. plot. listen, listen. You have okay. Listen, listen to me. So boys, little boys or girls, whatever. <laughs> love monsters, right? So let's put them in trucks. Right? And shh, 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 right? And uh, trucks are really popular with little boys. <laughs> so if you... <laughs> and the little girls. So okay. if you put them together, <laughs> you'll get something for everyone. So are there monsters in the Barbies too then? Yes. <laughs> yes. The, mo the fucking Barbies look like oh. monsters. Man. Monster Barbies. We have to go soon. to that. Listen. Fuck my life. Listen, we'll, we're going to see it eventually. Mark my fucking well, word. Obviously we're going to have to see it. Maybe do we have to spend theaters, money on it? We yes. We'll go on, like, we'll go on like Tuesday and well, go see it for $8. But we're like promoting <laughs> shitty movie makers who don't actually have any passion. What? Like, okay, videos. listen. Here's my rebuttal. What if it's good? <laughs> he gave up on their own project. God is actually interested if there's some things that make him laugh, and he'll be surprised. Like, you know surprised. what it'll be? It'll be like the cheesiest fucking lines that don't work at all, and you will laugh just because they don't work. I will make it number yeah. one. You, you, you yeah. go in there drunk. <laughs> go in there drunk. Just fuck. That's funny. The truck that would be drunk. The like emoji movie has uh, uh, an official trailer. Yeah. yeah. Um, I feel like. My movie list will go uh, 2017 <laughs> best movies. Give up. It'll Monster go trucks. Monster Trucks Emoji Movie. You win society. <laughs> <laughs> we have an emoji no, movie. But yeah, what if it's, it's but here, listen now. If what you if fucking good? say it, I will kill you. <laughs> I will People, fucking see, kill you. This is a movie about emojis. That little <laughs> smiley face you send or frowny face and the to your friend. And they, the poop emoji. They too. have a history. <laughs> There's lore. There's. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You know they should be making movies on yeah. actual shit. That's I an actual know. thing though. They have. Uh, it's stupid. It's what's an emoji? 
Literally, I, I feel, feel like, like I feel like the main audience for this movie is moms who need their kids to be busy for like a half yeah. hour. Or it's sad that we've fallen so far that we're making a movie I, yeah. about like things, on our things that we said. Listen, Next movie, you know, Tex, you know, the what, movie. You know, what we should see <laughs> Disney is apparently uh, thinking of doing a Boba Fett standalone movie. Oh, Fuck yeah, I'm good with sure, that. Do it. Yes. Totally kills the emojis. With emojis. Good. Em- emojis. Yeah, put emojis on Boba Fett's helmet. Yes. Oh, fuckers. Fuck God, they're go- okay. They ruin everything cool. Yeah, hey guys, guys, wait, 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 wait. The monster truck's an alien, right? Wow. So <laughs> what if he's in the Star Wars... Remember, no, remember wait, Rogue... Wait, 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 wait. Rogue One had the tentacle monster. The tentacle? Oh my God. That's the monster from us. <laughs> It's related. Well, Star Wars oh, ruined the no. same shit. universe. It's just in Star Wars it's ruined. Secret, same universe. Same universe. I would have okay. extended universe monster truck. <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna make sure. Does everyone here remember Captain Underpants? Please. Yeah. Uh, the fuck yeah! They're making a movie. Remember. They're Captain. making a movie. Uh, DreamWorks. Okay. The same people who made Shrek. DreamWorks <laughs> Animation are making a Captain Underpants movie. Finally, it's only taken how long? I'll go see it. I used okay. to read the Definitely. books when I was like fucking nine or ten. <laughs> yeah, I used to run around when I was nine years old in a red cape and underwear. <laughs> I am ready no, for this movie. I still do that. Captain but with beer and alcohol. This time. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm Captain Underpants. I'm Captain Underpants. I'm Captain Underpants. Um, listen. Uh, I, sure, I, I'm done. Whatever. Yeah. Uh, yes. Guys, I, fine. I'm, I, they should have asked me to play the part. <laughs> Shave me bald, give me a beer, and I'll be Captain America. Captain America. Okay, so Where? next on the list. Uh, <coughs> so, so the entire set has to be drunk. <laughs> they're making a Blade Run, uh, a sequel to Blade Runner. <coughs> I haven't seen it. So oh, nice. not a lot of people have seen it. I'm sorry. Uh, I've I've sort of seen it, but whatever. Uh, <laughs> I've, sort of yeah, I I got distracted by other movies. Uh, cause like you know me when it comes to like actual like Oscar movies and stuff, I take forever to watch them. Yeah, you're just like oh they're good. Yeah. I'll wait. I I I usually don't like to watch a movie when I know it's gonna be good. I'm just like yeah, that's the discovery, right? But anyways, uh, really classic sci-fi again in the same line as like Ghost in the Shell and shit. It was made in 1985, I believe. Okay, yeah. Very sci-fi. Really one of Ridley Scott's movies. Uh, so guy made Aliens. Um. Really good, uh, dealt with all the humanity stuff, robots, future, whatever. It was awesome. Huh. Uh, they're making a sequel. Oh, and by the oh, way, man. the star was Harrison Ford, was yeah. was the lead. Um, and oh, now yeah, and now they're making a sequel. Oh. Harrison Ford is back as his character, but older, of course, because he's old. <laughs> yeah. So he's a little old. Deal with that. Old. Just CGI. See, new thing. Just CGI. And uh, and that's pretty much it. It looks. It's made by the same director and writer, I think. So, that's uh, cool. Okay, good. Definitely well. could tell. Yeah, I heard I heard stuff about that. Uh, I I still have to finish seeing Blade Runner. It's such a classic, but I just who is, who's the villain that was in Jared Leto? Isn't he in the sequel now? I yeah, mean, he is. He's, yeah, he's, he's playing the villain in the sequel. Yeah. I think. Yeah, which has it's sure. about uh, yeah, fucking Jared, yeah. fucking Jared, exactly. I think he'd do really well. That seems fine. Mm-hmm. I know about your fans. Person right important, there. Jared Leto. Interesting. <clears throat> because a Blade Runner. Um, okay, so here's the whole war, real <laughs> quick. Um, so yeah, right. there's the, there are these things called, <laughs> there are these things called replicants, right? Replicants! And they're basically humans, right? <laughs> But they're robots, right? right? Uh, and what they do is they use them as slaves yeah. to go do everything humans don't want to do. Okay. Right? Like mine, so mine for resources <laughs> on other planets, yeah. make colonies, all that shit. Yeah. Um, what happens is these replicants are not allowed to be in human society. Uh, okay. Uh, so they've created a, a section of the police called the Blade Runners, who are whose task <coughs> is to uh, basically find where they are and kill them. Before, oh. And um, the life expectancy of a replicant is roughly four years, um, because after four years, they begin to actually gain sentience, so they have to be killed before that. Um, cool. That's kind of neat. Though. And yeah, Harrison Ford cool. plays. A, and Harrison Ford plays a Blade Runner, and that's what it is. So I like the idea of Jared Leto playing a basically a robot. Yeah, I find that be interesting. <clears throat> yeah, interesting difference yeah. because he does. He normally plays characters are very emotional or whatever. Sure. This would be very interesting to see Jared Leto yeah. completely. But then also once he starts to like think for himself, yeah. and, like yeah. I want to be alive. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's pretty. That's pretty much it. With cool. That. I'll go see it. Sure. It sounds awesome. Okay, so Gotham City Sirens confirmed. Huzzah. Oh, yeah. oh God, cool. are we getting to that? Oh, uh, yeah, we are. Uh, I'll bring what? it up. What? Uh, no, sh- what? No, he was so bad. fucking What? Bad. Shit. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Okay. 
And by the way, it by the way, Gotham City Sirens will be made will be directed by David Ayer. Ayer. Right. Cool. And and uh, Margot Robbie will be like very involved in it. So she might as well just be a co-director pretty much. Alright. Um so uh let's move on to the most uh, controversial news oh, about the Gotham oh, City Sirens. Good shit. Anarchy. Are you prepared? No, I'm not prepared. I'm never okay. prepared for this. Stuff. Pretty great. But go so, ahead. They're so they're casting for Poison Ivy. Casting. Okay. But then, you know, they want to get someone to play Poison Ivy. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> is she not gonna be redhead? Is she not gonna be a Dude, female? Is a fucking so crazy. So, sh- so, sh- so um um so I'll just I feel like it's just a bad day to have to rip off like. <laughs> uh, they're aiming for Megan Fox to play uh, Poison Ivy. Poison Ivy. She's now, awesome. I feel that she could do the sexual shit right, sexual but shit. she sucks at acting, so I wonder. Sassy. Yes. Uh, so, uh, you seem to be very silent on the matter. <laughs> Megan fucking fuck. She, her hair can be Doesn't it like, hurt you every time we say Megan Fox? Megan Fox! Megan Fox! I need a minute. I'm what? What was her in uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah, yeah. Fucking what's her face? What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> if she is okay, it actually took that better than I thought he would. Yeah. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, so yeah. Green dyed hair. Uh, this is um. I don't know. This is more or less a rumor. But considering yeah. Megan Fox is in everything, I would n- yeah, not. Apparently nowadays. I would not, like, fuck, I would be like, yeah, probably. Because she'll work for a fucking nickel and a fucking loaf of bread. <laughs> nickel and a loaf of bread. Are you good? Yeah. She can look the part, but yeah, good. I don't know. Like, ugh. Uh, so many better choices. Fuck. You know, people who are, like, redheads, first of all. Yeah. Fucking first rule. So, um, so, uh, Anarchy, uh, what do, what do you think? It's very warm. Do you like the casting? Very good. But... Maybe. You know, if it makes you feel any better, it's not confirmed. But it might as well be, considering <laughs> fucking Megan Fox and everything. Oh, Megan. So I would not rule it out at all. I would zero amount rule out Megan Fox as Poison Ivy. I vote. I think I should say it again. Uh, Megan Fox as a Poison Ivy. Okay. I'm getting I ready. Vote. I'm getting ready. Girl from Mad Max. You're uh, the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. um yeah. So Megan. Yeah. Fox as a Poison Ivy. Uh, this is possible. It's not. It's, it's stupid. Sure. But it's it could stupid. happen because she's in everything. Yeah, it's a very bad she choice. She surfaced. She died after Transformers. <clears throat> the only way Megan Fox can like play cancer. Poison Ivy she's is if she back. doesn't talk. Yeah. yeah. If she pulls a Deadpool and gets her lungs but, out of her mouth. <laughs> you know, this goes with the next news, actually. Yeah. Uh, and it's involving Poison Ivy. Oh, so they will be going with the sort of bisexual thing with Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy. Okay. So Poison Ivy will probably be playing a little bigger role than, than yeah, uh, that expected. Is, uh, I'm so fucking dumb. So, uh, well, I'm okay gonna... with that, but the fact that Megan <laughs> <Fox> is, uh, <laughs> fucking Poison Ivy. I don't know. I don't why? Know. why? Why can't we have good actresses play in our movies? Why do we have to have sandwiches? Why? <laughs> sandwiches? Why? Why must sandwiches oh, be in potato. the movie? Sandwiches, get the fuck out of Hollywood. You suck a di- big dick at acting. You don't deserve to act. You don't I mean, deserve. She so. can look like it. And she like my, my big thing is the like, but you don't have the talent at yeah. all. Yeah, my big thing is just like, just be slutty, really. Pretty much. Not hard like, for Megan Fox. It, it, it will suck for fucking Poison yeah, Ivy fans. Honestly, like all those yeah. girls who actually like the character because she has really more character than just being like a sexy fucking Can slut. you guys actually see Megan Fox Poison Ivy though? Can you guys actually? Like, I'm trying to envision yes. it. But I'm envisioning Megan Fox in yeah. like an Ivy oh, suit no. with red hair. I oh, can't do it. Anarchy, can't do anarchy. It. There's already fan art. I know there is. Of course there is. Because of all the uh, people who love Megan I Fox. swear to God, whoever is in charge of the casting, if you choose Poison Ivy, you will die. So I can imagine <laughs> like, like her being sexy and shit, but I keep thinking about like the like animated series where she's like cutting and like things no, like shut up. and shit, you know? Fuck oh, up. she's gonna be like sucking off flowers and stuff. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I don't... Well, uh, that movie's out of the door, I'm done with it. I'm, I'm it's out. gonna suck for um, the character. Great, so, that movie again, is officially ruined for me now. Thank you, uh, Sandwiches, as, once again, for ruining another movie. As, okay, so <laughs> next news, uh, they've cast an orm. 
who okay. are Aquaman, who is Orm. Uh, Patrick Wilson, uh, he's in all, he's been in, in, in I think some TV stuff and some movie stuff, but he's uh, he's not good nor is he bad. But we'll just have to see because he's very like yeah. huh. my big thing is Orm is a very important character to me. He's one of my favorite villains, so yeah, I mean like yeah, I really hope he does big. well. And yeah. I love that Magic and Orm are both in the movie. That makes it true. Uh, it's pretty cool. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Okay, so here's an interesting thing for all of you people who like Jurassic World or just Jurassic Park. I mean, so they're making a sequel, Jurassic World Two, uh, which is unnecessary, but whatever. Yes. Um, but they've said they will be leaning more towards using practical effects oh, instead that's of CGI. Cool. I like. That. So they've said because because of the success of Jurassic World, they've had enough money that they can actually do animatronic T Rexes and whatever. Uh, that, that's definitely like the classics. The right I would like it if in every like if in the sequel they dealt with new human characters, new characters yeah. instead of the same ones. I think doing the same ones would get true. Sure. And last but not least, uh, there's been some news from Dwayne the Rock Johnson uh, about yep. his, him playing uh, yep. Black Adam. Yes, he yes. has he has met with DC okay. and yeah. Warner Brothers. Thank you. They had their first they had their first uh, to quote him strategic meeting. Um, and he says he's very excited about the role. What interested me the most is he said, it's fun to play a hero slash anti-hero. Ooh, maybe well, he kind of is. So what's interesting, people. yeah, what's interesting to me is how they could be painting Black Adam. Because usually, a lot of the time when, when you do Black Adam from Shazam's perspective, he's a yeah. character, right? But if you see Black Adam from his own perspective, you know, yeah, it makes sense. Uh, but it would be interesting to see Black Adam actually help the Justice League or something yeah. like that. They could also have flashbacks to before he became mm -hmm. evil. Too. Which, is, that very, definitely which is very possible. I feel, yeah. okay, I feel if the Justice League rolled up to Black Adam and said, um, Darkseid's coming and he's gonna fuck up your country and every other country. Yeah. Help. Be like, hey, uh, he would, he would totally yeah. do it. Yeah. Right? Because he cares about his country. And only his country. Yeah. And this is where yeah. he good and bad. Right? Yeah. Uh, but I, I, I find that very interesting. I want to see Dwayne Rock Johnson's take on it. I hope it's good. I think uh, and yeah. essentially, he did allude to um, uh, he did allude he did allude to being weird that he has to play a dark character when playing Ron Ron Johnson never really does yeah, that yeah, too, yeah. too much. But he did say um, in the Shazam movie and stuff from what he's heard, there will be it will be a little more lighthearted and there will be a little bit more humor, well, yeah, which makes sense considering yes. Shazam is a six year old. I mean, like. I would love to see a flashback to Black Adam's kingdom before he became evil. Oh, and yeah. he was a ruler. And I guess. And I, I guarantee that. Cool. I want. I, I essentially. I'm in it for Black Adam. Yeah, to be yeah. completely honest. I love Shazam, but Black Adam's a baller. Shazam. I, I like both of them, honestly. I, I, I like just, the kid oh, angle, yeah. and I like Shaz Black Adam. Fucking ruler, pirate. Yeah, you know Shazam. You know super. Uh, <laughs> Shazam, the guy who is better than Superman, and like everyone. It's our counter yeah, to Spider Man. Much. Basically, you know how many fans, if the movie's pretty good, you know how many fans are going to be created for Shazam. Yeah. Un. Yeah, considering there's not that many fans. All right. Exactly. And that's it for movies. All right.